In this video, we'll discuss Zollinger Ellison Syndrome, ZES, its clinical features, diagnosis, pathology, and treatment. So, what's Zollinger Ellison Syndrome? Peptic ulcers occur on unusual sites, that is, beyond the second part of duodenum and in the jejunum as well, including the multiple ulcers in his stomach and duodenum. Usual site of peptic ulcer disease is the lesser curvature of his stomach and first and second part of the duodenum. Meckel's diverticulum also contains ectopic gastric mucosa. So they may also occur over there. What are the properties of Zollinger Ellison syndrome ulcer? The ulcer are multiple and are refractory to treatment and they recur after acid surgery and H. pylori may be absent in these ulcers or they may be present in 50% of cases only. Why ulcer develop on unusual site? It's because of hypersecretion of HCL. So why hypersecretion of HCL occurs? Due to excess of gastrin production. Where does the gastrin comes from? Gastrin comes from gastrin producing adenoma. So what gastrin causes. Gastrin causes hyperplasia and hypertrophy of the parietal cell of the stomach producing gastric ryugae and stimulates the secretion of HCL. It also causes growth of gastric enterochromophane cells. What are the sites of gastrin producing adenomas? It may be pancreatic or extrapancreatic. Pancreas is the most common site of gastrin adenomas. It produced by non-beta cell tumors of the pancreas and what's the most common non-pancreatic tumor site 50 to 75 percent in the duodenum and duodenal tumors are smaller slow growing and benign 80 percent of the cases of gastrin adenomas occur in gastrinoma triangle so what's gastrinoma triangle gastrinoma triangle has superiorly cystic and common bile duct inferiorly second and third part of the duodenum and medially junction of the body and neck of pancreas and what are the other side of gastrin adenoma stomach, ovaries, heart and lymph nodes. 60% of them are malignant, 50% are multiple and the tumor may be sporadic or associated with multiple endocrine neoplasm type 1. 25% of cases are associated with multiple endocrine neoplasm type 1. And what's the most common type of gastrin adenomas associated with MEN type 1? Most common site for them is duodenum. The most common for site for sporadic is pancreas but here it's duodenum 50 to 70% cases followed by pancreas 20 to 40% of cases and they are almost always multiple and 60 to 90 percent of them are malignant. What are the clinical features of these ulcers? Zollinger Ellison syndrome causes peptic ulcer, diarrhea, heartburn, dyspepsia, and erosive esophagitis. Abdominal pain occur in 70 to 100 percent of cases. Most common diarrhea is the second most common feature and that occur in 50 to 70 percent of the cases. But 20 percent of the patients have diarrhea as the only presenting feature. And what type of diarrhea is that? Diarrhea is secretory. Why? Because gastrin has a stimulatory effect on anthrocyte and production of vasoactive intestinal peptide. And signs symptom of esophageal origin occur in two-thirds of patients from mild esophagitis to ulceration stricture and Barrett syndrome. And what's, and what's Barrett syndrome? It's a pre-cancerous or pre-malignant condition in which adenocarcinoma of the esophagus developed, the condition is rapidly fatal. Zollinger Ellison syndrome ulcers are more common in male than in female, occur between the ages of 30 to 50 years of age, 75% are sporadic, 25% associated with MEN type 1 and 60% are malignant. And what are the complications? Perforation, hemorrhage and obstruction. How diagnosis is suggested? Diagnosis is suggested by peptic ulcer disease with diarrhea. In 90% of the cases, ulcer on unusual location beyond the second part of duodenum and jejunum, as I already told. Ulcer are refractory to the usual treatment and recur after surgery and H. pylori are present in 50% of cases or may be absent. 25% of gastrinoma that are associated with MEN type 1, that is pituitary, parathyroid and pancreatic adenomas, they are autosomal dominant and these gastrinomas are smaller, multiple and more often in duodenum. So those associated with MEN type 1 
are smaller multiple and more in didenum. Parathyroidectomy in these patients decreases gastrin and HCL output. Why? Because calcium has a stimulatory effect on gastric mucosa and also these patients with MEN type 1 have parathyroid adenoma. These patients will have increased incidence of gastric carcinoid tumor. Diagnosis and lab investigation of Zollinger Ellison syndrome. Number one, fasting hypergastinemia with number two, increased basal acid output secretion. How much gastrin level is increased in ZES? Gastrin level is increased by more than 10 folds but it may be less than that. Normal gastrin level is less than 150 pg per ml. What about gastric pH? Gastric pH is less than 2 in gastrinoma patients. Basal acid output pH of more than 3 excludes the diagnosis of gastrinoma. So pH should be less than 2 in ZES. Number 2. If acid secretion is low, nothing to be done. Diagnosis is excluded because hypersecretion of acid is essential to establish a diagnosis of gastrinoma. Next, if fasting gastrin level is more than tenfold the normal and number 2. pH is less than 2, then the diagnosis is established. So fasting gastrin more than tenfold and pH less less than 2 establishes the diagnosis. Next, if fasting gastrin is less than 10 folds the normal but pH is less than 2 then it may be due to other causes of increased gastrin. So there are two conditions in both of them the pH is less than 2 but in one of them gastrin level is more than 10 fold and in other the fasting gastrin level is less than 10 folds. So what are the causes of hypergastrinemia? The most common cause of hypergastinemia are acrohydria and pernicious anemia. In acrohydria and pernicious anemia, the gastric mucosa atrophy occurs. So HCL is not produced. So what are the other causes of increased gastrin? Drugs taken for the treatment of ulcer and H. pylori infection. The other causes are G-cell hyperplasia, renal insufficiency, small bowel obstruction, rheumatoid and pheochromocytoma and diabetes. Why and when proton pump inhibitors should be stopped before testing fasting gastrin level? Because the proton pump inhibitors decrease acid secretion and increase gastrin. So they should be stopped one week before the test. Number two, assess acid secretion. If acid secretion is low, nothing to be done. Diagnosis excluded. Number two, basal acid output of more than 3 pH exclude the diagnosis of gastrinoma. If acid secretion is high, then further evaluation is needed. Endoscopic method of measuring acid is also becoming available. Next, secretin stimulation test. Secretion stimulation test is the most sensitive and specific test for the diagnosis of gastrinoma. The test has more than 90% sensitivity and specificity for ZES diagnosis. Calcium provocative infusion study. Calcium provocative infusion study increases gastrin by 400 pg per ml but is less specific and less sensitive than secretin test but this test is good for MEN type 1 because there are tumor in the parathyroid gland tumor localization endoscopic ultrasounds this image is pancreatic and lymph node tumor with a high resolution of less than 5 millimeter size tumor but the test is not that sensitive for localizing tutinal tumor next test tumor that have somatostatin receptor tumors that have somatostatin Statin receptors, they can be localized by tetriotide octerio scan. 50% of the patients have metastasis at the time of diagnosis. After the diagnosis is confirmed to exclude metastasis, patients should undergo abdominal CT scan, MRI, or octerio scan. If metastasis is excluded, ex exploratory laparotomy is done. One third of the patients have metastasized to liver with lymph nodes involvement and metastasis. Treatment. Reduction of acid gastric secretion. Acid gastric hypersecretion in gastrinoma can be controlled in almost every patient by oral gastric anti-secretory drug. Proton pump inhibitors are the drug of choice. H2 receptor blockers are also effective. Correction of hyperparathyroidism decreases gastric acid secretion.